experience hobbies. I, I was uh, I was very keen on origami for a long time, and I used to make hundreds of little paper animals and invent little uh, little paper shapes and animals and so forth. And I was also um, something which you cannot do today. I also collected butterflies. There were, it wasn't so uh, such a dreadful thing then, and you could have butterfly collecting shops where you could buy your nets and your killing jar and all that sort of thing. So um, uh, yes. Um, I became a writer for all sorts of reasons. I mean, what I usually say is because I was completely useless at everything else, which is which is true to a degree. I find it very difficult to concentrate on things that I'm not interested in. Well, I don't really have favourite authors. Uh, people are always saying, who's your favourite author? Um, the thing is, you know, when I was very little, my favourite book was The Wind in the Willows, Kenneth Graham. And then a bit later on, I really liked Gerald Durrell, who wrote these books about collecting animals for zoos. And then a bit later on, I liked uh, Mervyn Peake, a gormenghast. Uh, people who write in my sort of area, I think my favourites, are actually Kevin Brook. Brooks. I like, I like his work very much. And um, I'm doing my book launch today, and uh, the other author who's going to be there is Jenny Valentine. Kevin Brook, and I'm reading her stuff, and I think that's very good. So um, I think I'd have to say those two are my current favourites. about me that people don't know, and most of them I'm going to keep to myself really, but um, I suppose one thing that people don't expect is, is that I collect flying ducks. I have about 40 uh, flying ducks, most of them in boxes at the moment. I've moved to a smaller house and I used to have a room with, I don't know, a couple of dozen of these things flying around the wall. Uh, what actually happened was my mum used to collect them, and she's di died now, but um, I, I got them afterwards and I continued the collection. 